Okay, today we're going to do a simple example of finding the standard deviation without a calculator, so by hand. So it's just an easy, it's an easy like three step process, but if you haven't seen it before with without a calculator, it might prove a bit difficult. So let's get straight to it. Standard deviation, hopefully you know, is the measure of a data set's variation or spread from its central point or the average or mean value of the set. So a large standard deviation would imply a large spread and a small standard deviation would suggest that the data is clumped together around the average or the mean. So, so as you can probably imagine, the first thing we have to do is find the mean of this data set. So let's get straight to it. The mean is going to be equal to all the numbers added together. So 9 plus 10 plus 11 plus 7 plus 13. So that is uh, 50. And we divide that by the amount of elements in the set, which is 5. And so the mean of this data set is 10. Cool. So. The next step is we have to find the variance of the data from this mean. So what the variance does is you find the distance of each of these numbers from the mean, which we found is 10. You then square it, add them all together, and then divide by the amount of numbers. So let's try and have a go at that. So the variance. of x is going to be equal. So the first one is 9, take the mean and then square it and then it's going to be 10 which is the mean, take the mean and then square it We have 11, take the mean, and square it. Seven, take the mean, and square it. Then we have 13. Take the mean and then square it. Yes, it's a fairly laborious process, and but sometimes you're going to be asked to do it by hand. Then what we're going to do is we have to divide it by the amount of elements in the set to get the average. Five. Okay. So 9 take 10 is negative 1, all squared is just 1, 10 take 10 is 0, all squared is still 0, 11 take 10 is 1, squared is 1, 7 take 10 is negative 3, all squared is 9, and 13 take 10 all squared is 9 as well. Then we still have to divide that by our number of elements. So we have 20 on the top divided by 5. So our variance is going to be 4. Now, just a little bit of note on why we do it, what we do here. So the reason that we square each of the numbers, like 11 minus 10 squared, as well as 7 minus 10 squared, is to discount the fact 
or yeah, to discount the fact whether the number is above or below the mean. Because if we just added together the distances away from the mean and we had their signs, if the, the negative numbers or the numbers that are below the mean would cancel out the positive numbers, the numbers which are above the mean. So in theory, if we had a even spread of data with the mean and the median in the middle, the standard deviation would technically be zero if we didn't square this because the numbers on below the mean would be exactly the same as the numbers above the mean. So adding them together would make zero. So this discounts whether they're above or below the mean because the square of a negative number is a positive number. Now, to get from this variance is also you'll come across this the sign for it as rho the squared. So standard deviation, the last step is quite simple. Standard deviation is just measured as this funny character here. And all that is, is the square root of the variance. So in our case, we have the square root of 4, which is equal to 2. So we, we've just calculated that the standard deviation of the data set A is 2. Okay, I hope that helped.